remember being 14, Dean. Uh, what were you doing then? Yeah, I got my first Fender guitar. Wow. And I used to run around with a gang off the council estate, and I got, I'd already started having lessons, but we was going out causing a lot of trouble, being horrible shits. And I got to about 14 ish, and I didn't like it. it. It weren't me. It wasn't big, weren't clever. And that's when I decided to just sit in and play the guitar. Uh, so I got my first little Fender acoustic, 14, 15, I got my first Gibson SG. And I just sat in for the next few years. It was just about guitar and my music mates I had on the estate. I had a little yeah. crowd that was all about music, albums, concerts. Then I had the oiks. And, uh, you know, after a couple of weeks of not going out of them, they stopped knocking. And I just dedicate myself to music. So, yeah, I remember 14. Pretty good. Yeah. Most started... good on the uh, female side. <laughs> I weren't that successful uh, with a girlfriend, so that was another thing. Fuck it, I'm going to play guitar. <laughs> one at a disco, go up and ask a girl to dance, and she say no. And then you look round, and she's dancing with me dodgy little mate, and it didn't do a lot for me confidence. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I, I came started into puberty late. <laughs> you what, sorry? Came into puberty late. All me mates all looking like geezers getting pints. I was always the one that got kicked out. Yeah, you Squeaky can come boys. in, but he's got to go. Oh, it happened so many times. I was like, oh, fuck it. <laughs> no, I was just saying, I started gigging with my dad when I was 14. That was 20... That was 1992 when I started gigging with my dad. So, like, started gigging in horrible, like, working men's clubs and stuff. Oh, that's a tough old scene. <laughs> yeah, it is. Good apprenticeship, though. Teachers yeah, as well. Yeah, right. If you can play that Working circuit, you can club. play anywhere, mate. It was a, uh, it was a. Uh, I had a set of cards for the songs, and on the third gig, I forgot them. Well, that was the night that I brought a tape recorder to record the gig to see how it sounded, and never took the cards again. I listened to the tape and did all right, so it all sunk in. Yeah. But uh, yeah, 1992 seems 92. like a, a million years ago now. Yeah. So horrible. Up horrible. For Thirty fun. years. Yeah. Sort of pubs where they come in. Someone it was '92 when I fell off the stage. Was it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to power ended in '91, October I think. <laughs> uh, a couple of months of really panicking, and I got a phone call a week before Christmas. Uh, my tour manager mate Al Dutton, who got me the to power gig, he was now co-managing Ian Gillan solo. He said, we've had to get rid of our guitar player on the Christmas break. He said, we've still got 26 countries to do. He said, I've just planned out to pal split up. He said, do you want the job? I was like, oh, yeah, all right. Two days, oh, two days later, Adrian Smith from Iron Maiden called me. He said, like, I'm, he'd left Maiden. And yeah. he asked me uh, if I wanted to put a band together and do an album. I said, I've just accepted a 26 country world tour with Ian Gillen. He went, oh, I can't oh, no. wait with that. So that was that. All within a week of Christmas. <laughs> wow. Crazy. But uh, So Crazy yeah, that, I started rehearsing very early 91, at 92, just after New Year. And uh, was it January, went off 26 country world tour. 